What's up guys, it's Matt and I'm back for another how-to. And as some of you guys probably know, I've been doing a lot of vlogs from the field. And so what I've been doing is filming, editing, and posting from my Android phone. I'm using GoPros and my Phantom quadcopter. But one big problem I ran into while doing this is I assumed what the first time I took my Phantom out that it was easy to transfer the full video, full quality video, to my Android phone. I'm using my Galaxy S7 and uh, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as a GoPro connecting to the uh, capture app because you get the full video. You can download the full video. Only thing you can get from the Phantom wirelessly basically is this cached video that looks something like this. All right, so as you can see, that looks terrible. I want the full quality video, and I found a way to do it without using the OTG cable. I guess the Phantom 4s come with an OTG cable. You can just connect your, your wire, and it basically uh, makes it to where it's micro USB to micro USB. So I don't have nothing like that. The Phantom 3s, I don't believe, come with anything like that, but I found another way to do it using the SD card, and I'm gonna explain it and show you exactly how to do it today. Check this out. So if you already know you're gonna be filming with your Phantom 4 and you're gonna be flying and you're gonna be using the video on your Android device beforehand before you fly, then you can prepare for something like this by making sure that you're filming in MP4 because by default you're gonna be filming in .mov. And if you do accidentally shoot in MOV, you can still transfer the file to an MP4 on your Android device. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, but it's an extra step. So if you know you're gonna be filming and shooting and then editing with a uh, Android device, then go ahead and already put it in MP4 and it'll skip a step for you guys. So to change your settings on your DJI Phantom 3 to MP4 from MOV, what you're gonna do is go into your DJI Go app and then you're gonna hit the menu that's right above your camera setting here. And then it's gonna be automatically going to your photos. Go over to the next row here, which is for video, and you'll see video format, the second one down, and it says MOV there. Tap on that, and you can change it there easily to MP4. Go ahead and close that out, and there you go. You're ready to go now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the SD cards from the Phantom over to the Android device. But you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you have an SD card already in your, in your Android device, that you're gonna to wanna to do it safely so you don't lose all your stuff. So here's how you're gonna do that. So to safely remove your SD card from your Android device, just go into your settings. And then you're gonna go down here to device maintenance, battery, storage, and RAM. Click on that. And then down here at the bottom, you see the one that says storage, click on that. And then you've got these three dots up in the right top. Click on those three dots, you'll see storage settings. Click on that. And then down here it says SD card. And over to the right where of SD card, it's got a triangle with a line under it. You click on that. Now unmount at the very bottom and that'll unmount your card. Let's go ahead and click that. There you go, SD card unmounted. Now it's safe to pull out and take out your SD card. Now, before you can start editing your video, make sure that they are in MP4. So like I said, if you've already shot in .mov, this is the point where you're gonna need to go to the Google Play Store and all you gotta do is look for something that uh, transfers the file types from MP4 or from .mov to one or the other. You can do that pretty easily. I found an app right away and it worked perfectly. So this should be no problem for you guys, but that's gonna be the extra step if you've shot in MOV. But if you've already shot in MP4, you're ready to start editing your stuff. Now I've been using Adobe Premiere Clip. I use Adobe Premiere Pro at home, um, but Premiere Clip is a real simple app. There's not all the bells and whistles. It doesn't do all the things, not even close to all the things that Premiere Pro can do, but it puts together a great video and it ends up in great quality. You save it in 1080. It's fantastic stuff. So check out that app and I appreciate you guys watching this how-to. Hopefully it helped you guys and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.